Hey, welcome back, everyone. So, uh, death battle today. I forgot. Honestly, I forgot about it yesterday. I thought it was dropping yesterday. It's not dropped today. Uh, I have not watched this at all. I do remember though who I picked to win the fight. Uh, I picked uh, Miles to win the fight. Now, I've had actually a lot of people come and explain to me why Stack probably is going to win this. And to be honest, I honestly didn't know enough about Stack from the comics to really give an accurate judgment. My knowledge of Static, well, I knew he had comics. I just didn't know how powerful he really was in the comics. So I'll see what that, what they say in the like in the uh, analysis, and I'll, obviously I'll be talking over to avoid, try to avoid copyright as best I can. Um, as you'll notice, I don't have my headphones. Those things probably just don't. you want to see my headphones right now. Those are my headphones right. Now. Luckily, I can get a cheapo pair from somewhere. I uh, just gotta go and get them. Um, but right now I'm a little low on cash. So yeah, um, I'll give my analysis now. Let's let's be clear. Whether or not I think someone's going to win is different than who... What's the best way to put it? My prediction was for Miles. So even if I, after reading the analysis, think Stack will probably pull it out, I will still put my money on Miles. So let's be clear about that. But without further ado, let's get ready to death battle! At first glance, the world of Earth 1610 is like so different from our own. I, I love watching this movie and my Coca-Cola. Cola. PDNY officers instead of uh, PD. Oh God! And a hammer uh, price can cost thirty thousand goddamn dollars. Yeah, seriously. Did, no, I never picked up on that. But then again, who so would? Ultimate universe. Um, um, but you know, I took my girlfriend to it, and she and she was so sick was that day. But I took it for to her for her birthday, and she loved this movie. From Brooklyn and it's one of those movies I need to pick up. I need to pick up a lot of those. Mom and Dad. Hey, kid. Appreciate your folks. Will you have them? Ah, that's right. They got their own surprise thing going on there. Well, Miles spent most of his time with his more laid-back uncle Aaron, who turned Played out by, to be uh, a secret oh, super crap. criminal. Got totally oh, relatable. Shit. Anyway, uh, during one of his heists into a secret like cop, lab, Aaron mail. accidentally Played, scooped up a spider. The uh, next time Miles visited, the spider it, 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 got loose and... It was a green and, book. And, you know what happened. Um, uh, uh, Marshall Holly. That was it. Marshall Holly. Was a f I love seeing him pop this up. This spider carried the genetic say enhancing Oz play. formula. Well, Yet well, another attempt to recreate Captain America's infamous super soldier, super soldier serum. serum. It had. That's I actually remember this. They, they, they in the like minor analysis for him. I remember. Wait this. a minute! Who came up with the idea to store the super serum in a friggin' spider? Eh, Valid. Scientists can be weird sometimes. Mm. Maybe next time, put it in something that can't walk away. <laughs> it's got eight legs. That's oh, like four truth, times right more walking power. Uh, sure. Either way, by the way, new Miles is in terms of alternate spider costumes. It's simplistic, spider but Miles has always the had a spider really cool the cost. Block. He does whatever a spider can. He's super strong, super fast, and has the yeah. overpowered super radar. The spider sense. sense. After meeting Peter's Aunt May, Miles took up the classic web shooters, complete with multiple types of long to short range webbing. Of course, yet another tool that would be perfect for snagging a beer from the fridge without leaving the couch. <laughs> Boomstick. He was a teenager. Different universe, different drinking laws, right? <laughs> and also, like Peter, he can stick to walls. You know, spider style. <laughs> yes, like some spiders, uh, no, Miles I, you know, I did notice this on the uh, animation. Too. Their animation's clearly changed. Like, like a magnet. I'm wondering, because, uh, like, I think last year manipulation gave Miles was... No, well, that wasn't last year. It was your part where they started yeah, doing the actual animated characters. Powers. He can zap people with a quick mm. touch, fire off massive explosions, and even turn what? invisible. What the hell? What was the explosion thing? What was shocking people? This venom sting can even take out the Ultimate Universe's Electro, a being literally made of That's electricity. But Miles didn't just shock him, he disrupted Electro's own charge. Similar to a miswiring ah. too much electricity in one direction and shorting out your computer when SOMEBODY forgot to plug it into the surge protector. Wiz, you know I don't believe in protection for anything. It's going in raw. Oh god. Anyway, oh, as the new Spider-Man, Miles obviously had a lot to live up to. After his uncle Aaron died in front of oh, him, dear. Ah, told you somebody would pull a bin. Miles pushed past mm. the heartache. He persisted, living up to Peter's ideals, and eventually stepped out of his shadow to be Spider-Man. Miles Morales, and could. occasionally, and get married oh, yeah. in an alternate universe to spider -Man. He can blast apart a building-sized monster and survived being slammed Was around a, by the uh... giant Cassie Lang. That's Ant-Man's daughter. He's smart enough to hack military drones and quick enough to destroy an uh, alien I was device say, was in a like microsecond. A Essentially, he needed to open and close a portal in an impossibly short time frame to prevent an alien force from invading. It's a long story. Uh, yada yada. Point is, he's super fast. With yep. his spider sense, he can react to things before they even happen. He's super tough, too. He even survived being caught in this giant super collider <laughs> exploding. 
Measuring the size of this hole using mm. real-world maps of New York and solving for fragmentation, we know this explosion must have been equivalent to about 222 That's tons nice. of TNT. That's nice. I'll say that Stacks probably got a bit more durability than Miles does in that regard. Comics, but guys, main series Spider-Man has done way crazier True. things. True. <laughs> I mean, he has the same powers, and Miles has even beat the crap out of him. Classic Pete can bench press 130 mm. tons, use his spider sense to dodge. I like the fact that they go back to this at the Terminator. Doc Ock's robo arms, which once survived a two kiloton nuclear explosion. So I'd say the Super Collider feet checks out. Unfortunately, mm. Miles' electric powers can tire him out, and his spider sense does not protect him automatically, yeah. serving more as an alarm or That's a, That sense. spider sense but isn't the infallible. But proved himself to be the best successor a Spider-Man could ever want, and more. He even got pulled into the main Marvel timeline when they blew up the Ultimate oh, yeah. Universe. Miles Morales is truly one of the greats. Don't wash the mouth. Wash the hands. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that oh, the, the whole disrupting the a charge with the venom shot thing. The I didn't know city. anything about Virgil that. Hawkins was a uh, so that see for those of us who are rooting for for those of us out you know, there, and I'm rooting for Miles, but he had one rooting for Stag, problem, that could be a really big thing in Miles' favor. The fact that he actually stopped and beat main electricity could really actually pose problems for Stag. But the fact that only refuge was one of his to overuse it, Larry convinced Virgil that only one way for Miles is also a problem as well. But he's clearly got the durability to last. But let's actually see what Stag, especially in the comics. Have any of it. It really bring out. Bail, like DC Comics on their cinematic yeah. universe. <laughs> but the damage was already. I like you. Look, I'm the people like you. Like, some like is it a plot? Don't have to be freaking lovely, but I like it. I do. But wasn't. Yeah, this grape-looking mist was actually mm. some experimental grape shit. Blade. It was supposed oh, rabbit to blade. tag each gang member uh, so the cops don't know what the pet industry is. Rabbit blade, but it was actually labeled with radioactive quantum juice, which killed almost everybody. Which one's orange? Horse when that happened. Luckily, Virgil was one of the few who survived, but the a lot of people survived. At least in the still had a show, a lot of people survived. You could say he was shocked to find out what it did. He put the shock uh, to yes, your system. He began to develop electromagnetic powers. Before this, Virgil always felt out of his league, but Ooh. now he was in a league of his own and I, became I a superhero. I loved this show growing static. up, man. Hey, 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 Right, but he's not that just his good costume at shocking well. people. Static can alter the electron attraction of any object or surface. He can erect extremely durable electromagnetic force fields that mm. block most attacks. Yeah. He can even move metal around like a hip young Magneto. <laughs> and slip metal under his feet to take to the sky. His favorite ride is the Static Saucer. No, a static saucer. that doubles as a shield and buzzsaw. Yeah. Okay, that Think didn't make any it. sense to me, though. Your car could the whole wire thing could short it out. How does that not work? Obviously, turning superhuman overnight caught Virgil a bit off guard. But after a few speed bumps, he became a well-regarded superhero throughout the city of Dakota. Mm. Even teaming up with fellow heroes like Icon and Rocket. Icon and Rocket? Come on, where's Batman and Wonder Woman? <laughs> Oh, I should mention that while Static is part of the DC Universe, he did not start there. Mm -hmm. See, Static was originally created by Milestone Comics, which Interesting. eventually merged Interesting. I didn't know this DC. part about Static. Oh, their no. characters, including Static, existed in an alternate timeline known as the Dakotaverse. <laughs> then a guy named Dharma gained cosmic power and accidentally blew everything up, sending Static into the main DC timeline. Mm. It's really not too complicated. Uh-huh. I've actually been working on a device to peer into alternate timelines, but unfortunately it still needs... Button! Well now, old chap, what were we discussing but a moment ago? <laughs> oh, psych though to know. Let's figure out who yacht wins a fatality card fuffle. Oh <laughs> yes, I'm mad as hops. Let's begin, my fellow Ultra Commodarian. Oh god. I regret everything. Oh, I'll do it again! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm sure that's fine. Well, no matter the universe, sure Static was always one-upping himself. Mm. He learned how to see ultraviolet light and okay. how to make people glow. Wait, 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 what's that got to do with shocking people? That would be his ability to detect bioelectric auras. Mm. Static can also create power-draining plasma coils, disrupt the electrical impulses of others, and empower or heal himself by draining energy from outside sources. Fascinating. He can literally reattach his severed arm with shock power. I'm not even joking. Yeah, someone Look mentioned at that. This. Since when could electricity do that? <laughs> Clearly, Static has a lot ah. of power at his beck and mm. call. 
He can survive building size kabooms, lift yeah, hundreds of tons, and at once, once turned this huge chunk of ice into slush in just a couple seconds. Based on the size of the ice and the required change in temperature for such a feat, static must have output energy equal to 180 tons of TNT. He's Must quick enough to intercept yeah. lasers confirmed to be beams of actual light, which is pretty darn fast. And in the cartoon, he actually shoved some quantum juice in some lockers and launched them out of orbit. Okay, that's impressive. I mean, like, like, like they showed off like the amount of power it took uh, for him to do that. It's not as much as Miles to ride. to be moving nearly 3,000 times faster than sound. Requiring a throwing force equal to four kilotons. Okay, of that's a lot more, yeah. I think. Okay, sure, that's not canon to the comics, but his True. electromagnetism could play tug of war with Superboy's telekinesis, which can lift four million tons. Mm. I'm not sure static can go that far, okay. but if he's anywhere close, it's still higher than tactile telekinesis to superhuman strength. Well, I despite remember that. Static's incredible power. Insulators are his kryptonite, mm. and he can run out of juice if he pushes himself too much. But the guy's one of the coolest superheroes. Yes, really static. Is time just kind of a really Next, just an he was awesome good enough hero. to join the Justice League. I think even mm. Virgil himself. See, that was a decent suit that in the how future. Cool he really was. So I'm just gonna fast forward this now. My money's still actually on Miles. Believe it or not, I, I mean, Stack has all his abilities, but yeah, Stack can still run out of juice. Uh, Insulators are weakest, and we know Miles can disrupt electronic charge. That doesn't guarantee Miles the win. If we're going by the idea that death battle is biased, then I'm gonna actually gonna go. St actually, that's that's an interesting question. When you say, bring that up for a second, if we go into the assumption, which let's be honest, death battle is a bit biased sometimes. Not all the time. I don't think it's all the time. I think it's on certain matches. But if we were to go with the idea that they're being biased in this one, Miles actually at the moment is the more popular character thanks to Spider Verse and everything like that and the video game. So actually, you'd you'd watch if you're going by the bias, you'd want to go for Miles. But if we're going by the, the whole stats and numbers, oof. I'm not, I'm still actually gonna. I mean, I was obviously gonna lean more, stay with Miles anyway. But if I thought Static would win, I'd let you know. I actually do still think Miles is gonna win this fight. But we'll find out. It's time for a death battle. It's Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doing the whole Spider-Man, you know, just talking to keep yourself calm. Ow. This, you know, even for a pixel fight, this is really well animated. Mm. Get some of that music going. <laughs> hey. Ah. Miles taking the early lead. Uh oh. Uh oh. Survive. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> it's like, fuck you. <laughs> That's right. A lot of times they'll get original music for this. Ah. Buzz saw that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. So they got the Ed uh, uh, Tola. Yeah, we don't know if Static could actually uh, come as the whole building. Ow. <laughs> Unfortunately, Virgil will be able to pale him out. Uh oh. I like the voice actor for Virgil. It sounds a lot like the cartoon. Uh oh. Mm. Oh, well, that's not good. But, get, but it will keep going. All right, and <laughs> I will say they do seem to be giving him a up. If you had noticed, this electric biz is kind of my thing. Hmm. Oh, looks like Miles loses this fight. Yeah. 
Hey, look, Miles put up a hell of a fight. Yeah, all right. Like we're well, I'm also I'm one for all right now. Or Miles, though. Or I'm Honestly, one right I'm now. surprised how this turned out. At first glance, Miles appeared to have a good chance of victory. Mm. He was definitely physically stronger than Static. Yeah. He would have totally won an arm wrestling contest. But Virgil's overwhelming electric power put him at a level above the young Spider-Man. Oh yeah. Overall, yeah. Static's feats were way above Spidey's, even when we scaled Miles to classic Peter Parker's biggest feats. Static definitely had the oomph to take yes, Miles out, but Miles had no easy way to get around his field. The variety of attack. techniques at Static's disposal also rent many of Spider-Man's yeah. abilities moot. Like how Spidey's invisibility didn't matter when Static could light him up like a Christmas tree. And his speed was so similar to what the Spider-Sense could give Miles mm. that the Super Radar wasn't that big of a yep. help. Remember, just because he knew an attack was coming didn't always mean he could dodge it in time. And, well, shockingly, Static only needed to hit him once. Mm. See, his electromagnetic manipulation gave him control over Miles' wall crawling and yep. other abilities. As soon as he got a hold of Miles' bioelectric aura, it was basically all over. Yeah. But hey, Miles and all the other Spider-Men fight Electro all the time, and they have no problem dealing with him. That's a good Why question. Static any different? Simply put, every iteration of Electro pales in comparison. <laughs> he has no feats of power that come even close to Static, and frankly, He's an idiot. This yeah. was a fascinating matchup, but oh no, not again! Yay! <laughs> Mr. Morales put up a jolly good show, and yet Mr. Hawkins had him outdone in breathtaking power, stalwart defense, and veritable versatility. <laughs> oh, he was just miles ahead of him, don't you know? The victor is static. <laughs> Hey, thanks for checking out the premiere of Season 7 of Death Alright, let's find out the next music one. for yourself, you can get it by clicking the link down below. And, hey, the card game is back in stock, so check that out on oh, store.roosteep.com. Well. Alright, what do we got next? Uh, who's that? Oh, that's from, oh, she's from, uh, oh, Black Canary versus, what's her name? From, uh, Sindel. Alright. Uh, well, I guess, well, that's the next one. So, yeah, that was, I, hey, look, that's a great season opener. I guess I'm 0 for 1 right now, but hey. Well, it is what it is. I stuck with my guns. I lost. Uh, but yeah, no, that was a good fight overall. I mean, what do you think of the fight? Did you think it was done fairly? Ultimately, Miles uh, Miles lost. Oh, well, what can I do? Black Canary versus Sindel. I have to look up Sindel. Um, I know who she is vaguely, but I'm not familiar with her in terms of a overall power structure, like compared to Black Canary. So I'll have to look into that. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you folks next time. Have a good one.